Okay, so on the healing bench today is this uh, chef man, chefman, uh, air fryer. It doesn't turn on. Let's uh, see what we can do to uh, fix it. So here it is upside down. There's a model number. Unfortunately, I do see some really annoying triangular screws. So I took out the uh, three triangle head screws with my triangle bit. If you don't have something like that, you can actually use um, one of these star bits here, like this one, um, and you can just jam it in there, and if you're careful, you can uh, undo um, these uh, screws with one of those. And because I'm a person of principle, I have found three screws with the same thread pitch that have a non-hostile thread or a head on them, and I will be using those to replace these evil screws. Yeet. You pull off the feet, you get access to the screws. These are just normal Phillips head. Now it looks like this cover comes off, revealing our switch. This screw here, with the weird triangular head, is actually required to be removed. Um, the, the two ones in the back for the power cord are not are not required. Frankly, if you didn't want to find a, a triangle head screwdriver or mess around, you could probably just drill that out. Probably fine, but I'm just a random person on the internet. Whatever you do uh, from this video is entirely your responsibility. Uh, let's try this switch, shall we? Yep, nothing's happening. Just undo those uh, these top two screws here, that one and that one. Uh, take the switch out. There we go. All right, well, here's the switch in question. It's a standard micro switch, 16 amp, 125 or 250 volt. Pick the, one of these up anywhere, should be good to go. I seem to have used my last micro switch. So instead, if you're like me and don't have one handy and just want to get this thing running, well, you've got a couple options. One, the bad idea. The bad idea is to just What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to disassemble well I've already disassembled uh, disassemble further this switch and try to revitalize it for a little bit of time anyway um, until I can get my hands on a new switch as the contact has gotten to be high resistance um, this part has gotten quite hot you can often tell when they're starting to fail because they look kind of burnt, see here, on the contact, or sorry, on the spade terminal. Looks kind of kind of melted over here, burnt over there. Yeah, that's usually a pretty good sign that it's time to order some replacements. Yeah, you can really see it there. See that black spot in the middle of the contact? Right here. I'm just going to clean that up with a bit of sandpaper. Same with this side. So there's really no saving this switch. I mean, it'll operate uh, a few times. <laughs> okay, both contacts are now shiny. Okay, the switch is back together. So if we squeeze... It works. So just to add to the jank, I had to uh, bias the actual uh, little actuation lever with a bit of uh... <sighs> yeah, not even going to say it. But if you close the uh, thing, it does work. It works. For now. <laughs> no one will know. Our little secret, right? Right. Anyway, just get our new switch.